Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is scheduled for five three-minute rounds of the Unified Amateur Heavyweight Division, and it's for the Unified Amateur Heavyweight Championship. It's brought to you by Crystal Glass and Tumbler and Rocks. Experience classic cocktails. With action begins, our referee in charge is referee Luke Bhutan. Fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 253.8 pounds with an undefeated amateur record of two wins, zero losses. Fighting out of New Path MMA in Athabasca, Alberta, Terrell, the Brave Viking, Jonathan. And his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 232.2 pounds and stands six feet, two inches tall with an undefeated amateur record of three wins, zero losses. Fighting out of Shea Bears MMA in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Jake Bronson Craig. Two undefeated fighters vying for the amateur heavyweight championship. Jonason versus Craig here at Unified MMA 49, the River Creek Resort Casino. Both these guys ready to go, get after it. Both them big boys, just waiting for a door to close. And this really could be a good test to see if they're ready for the pro ranks in the sense that it's five three minute rounds. Totally. 15 minutes. Yep, it's like a normal real fight. That's right. Craig trying big to kick. Get, <laughs> big kick. Trying to get a reaction from Jonathan. Jonathan have that has that lead hand out there, trying to establish that jab before landing the massive right hand that will no doubt be intended for the cranium. Nice okay, slip there. Look at that slip from Jake Craig. And that's a big byproduct of the very bladed stance he was using. Now he's squaring up because he's probably going to brawl. But um, overall, um, that, that oh, oh big right hook. My goodness. That definitely had to. And he's followed it up. Jonathan in big, big trouble perhaps in the early stages of this championship tilt. Yeah, Jonathan staying tough, looking to clinch up, and they broke off and seemed to have his Beat back our beautiful left hand split there. Johnson looking for a takedown. Just being manhandled right now by Bronson. Oh. I don't think many people on planet Earth can take any one, one of those clean. Oh, that was that was solid. It made that sound. And with these gloves to make that kind of noise is a big deal. <laughs> big body kick. You know, Jake Craig slowly taking his time. Johnson doing a good job though. Yep. I mean, he's, he's staying composed and you know he's throwing good shots. It's just they're not landing, he's just a little bit too too far away, unfortunately, just not having his range and rhythm there quite yet. They're trying to land a kick with Jonathan, and then Craig responding, attacking the legs of his opponent. Jonathan circling away from the cage. Kick in the center. Oh, beautiful little right hand snuck through there. You see Craig with his Chin up high. Well, he's like, that's part of it. Right hand stays low. Oh my goodness, did he wobble him a little bit? There we go, double jab, big right hand. Oh my goodness. Jonathan now trying to advance. And then keep him against the cage. This is a mistake. Jonathan should probably try and like break off and kind of keep working on what, he, what he's doing. Good head position. Jake Craig doing a good job moving his head off the center so he doesn't have that strong underhook anymore. There we go. So back that head, that that giraffe fighting, so to speak, where they're jockeying for that head position is such a big deal against the cage. Like, what are you talking about, giraffes? You ever watch giraffes yeah, fight? They just brutal. smash, smash nash, each other's nash. Nash. Oh god, they're awful. And it's just like slight, slight head butting when you do it in wrestling you know, against the cage. Nice little knee there from Jake Craig, but. You know, Johnson staying heavy, keeping his opponent pinned against the cage, keeping his opponent almost flat, trying to get it, get looking for that outside single, it looks like. The round coming to an end, both fighters having their moments. Both fighters getting getting their bells rung, I think, during that fight. You know, both of them staying tough. You know, I'm interested to see how round two, uh, two goes. Both guys gave their all and were working hard in that one. And you saw the corner of Jonathan. They had a smile on their face. Here. They said, we knew we were going to get into a situation Thanks. like that. Every fight in here, big, and kind of a slip there from uh, 
from Jake Craig, but at the same time is, you know, you start swinging that hard and heavy. Look what happened. He lost position because he got too anxious, was looking to get too much into the moment, slips, and he ends up losing position, and that could have cost him the round. But you don't think it cost him the round? Oh, no, I don't think yeah. so, but also... It could have. It could have. But I don't know what what you know like what the judges are looking for we've been all over the map half the time in the past like three shows so you know it's i don't know what i'm doing half the time uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you know jay craig looks really good peppering his opponent but you got it's all optics what yep. looks good yep. for a second i thought that he got clipped on the way in because you know um his opponent jonathan touched him partially not hard but enough and at, at this weight you get touched a little bit you might go down so it's, it's hard to say. And again, when you look at the body language, look at Jonathan. He was, you know, he looked like he was fresh. Yep. He had a smile on his face where Craig was sitting there. He looked kind of labored. Takes a deep breath. Well, you had a big guy yep. holding him against the cage. You know, that can be exhausting on the arm. So we'll see if he comes out ready to go in the second round and looking to pepper his opponent and land those big shots. But the big thing, he has to not brawl. Jonathan. Good job on the footwork by Jonathan, just really keeping his foot to the outside, really trying to cut that angle for that right hand that he was trying to land in the first round. Unfortunately, he loads it up quite a bit. Craig trying to evade those big hammers. Good job moving a big right hook and left hand. And right here, he did the good thing. He kind of backed off and says, stay in that pocket where this big dude can just hit him. Oh, beautiful left hand uppercut. Craig now just hit. Needs to take his time. Landing a knee yeah. with the advancing Jonason. And the push off, that's the big thing. That's the big difference maker. Because he might have landed that and then Jonason just pushed him against the cage and held him there again, you know? And you know, that's that's learning on the fly. That's having good fight IQ. Not having good fight IQ is throwing naked kicks. Nice little knee there. Jonason doing a good job of trying to like overhook him, use his sheer will and weight and the cage shook there a little bit. Um, Bronson did a good job shaking him off and then throwing him a giant <laughs> right Gigantic. hook. Gigantic. Oh, swinging from grandma's basement <laughs> there. Jonathan using this as an opportunity to tie up and hold his opponent against the cage. Looking for the head position. Right here, if you see that the right knee of Jonathan, it looks like it's trying to go underneath and try and elevate uh, his opponent's, opponent's leg. That's a good way when you have a taller, stronger, based out opponent to take that leverage off that foot because it's really easy to get for your foot to get caught in that little space in between. Mm. Um, you watch a lot of fighters use that to your advantage. Well, it's yep. super heavy and my foot's stuck. So as long as you're not like going up high, I'm fine. Right here, Jay Craig trying to lock those hands for body lock yep. and with these gigantic gloves is no easy task. But he needs to keep his head a little bit, keep his opponent looking away and just chip away at the legs maybe, do a little bit of damage. That's what, that's what it looked like he was trying to do. Land some knees to the thighs Back to the of Jonathan. Yeah. Jonathan, you know, he's, he's 20 pounds. He's a big dude. He's short, stocky dude. And, uh, you know, he's able to keep that weight. Uh, right here, I'd like to see Jay Craig looking for that wizard there, but he's just reaching there. Bleeding a little bit of blood coming off of the, the nose, I think, of Jay Craig there. Oh, and well, now do we got the the tired arms That's of Jonathan? That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. It's the thing is you got to be ready to go. That that way of fighting against the cage is is tough. It's hard. It's it's. But he's still willing to throw that big left hook there. And I think big body kick. Yep, coming from Jake Craig and Jonathan trying to follow up with combinations. Everyone missing. Yeah, and and unfortunately, you know that's oh, oh. right, nice right hook. Another one. And another one. Wow. Those just missing the mark as Craig landing that push kick to the midsection at the end of the round. You know, a lot of good stuff, but you know, one of uh, one of them looks. They both look tired, to be honest. Yeah. I don't know. But so we'll see how how they come out in the third because that's that's the difference maker. You know what I mean? Um, and what we have to remember is that this 
is five rounds. Yeah. What happens if we get to round four or round five? Then we get to really ugly rounds. Yes, we do. We've seen this. You uh, know. Ugly rounds, but you know what? Because of that, because of the fatigue factor, it increases the chance of the finish. I agree, but there are sometimes you get like a Francis Ngannou and, and Derek Lewis fight. Yeah. That second one, oh my goodness. Yeah. Yuck. But who knows? <laughs> you know, sometimes, you know, and that's a learning experience. Like, oh, I did all these things right. And like, did you do everything possible? You know, for me personally, I don't like sitting down in between rounds, especially if I think I might get tired. All that blood pools in my legs. Your legs feel heavy they or feel wobbly heavy. Yeah. or whatever it is. Exactly. I want to use this as an opportunity, kind of get things going, stay springy on my feet. Always remembering, hey, I'm going to move like an athlete or pretend I'm an athlete. And that's uh, two rounds we've seen for Jonathan standing, not taking the stool in between rounds. You know, and, and maybe he's the same way where he doesn't like to sit down because, you know, it's like when you get home after a long day of work and you sit down and you're I'm your not favorite getting up. I'm not, no, I'm I'm not, not getting up. Yeah, I don't care if I have to pee, I'm staying here for a while. <laughs> Thank God I strapped on the Depends. Yeah, yeah, and as you get older, it becomes a better decision. They come out, touch gloves, and they're ready to go again. A little wobbly a little, there. Like a little slip. Yeah. A little slip. I think the push kicked the leg. It got a little sweaty on the bottom of the foot. And Jonathan's definitely recovered. He's faster than he was last round. Yeah, you know, and a little backhand there from 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 Jake Craig. But you know, once again, and then these feints need to you need to lie better. You know, and like it's oh big right hook there and double unders from Jonathan. You watch Jay Craig using the double overhooks, kind of push his hips away. We're going to see if this is where Jonathan wants to spend the round. The thing is, is it is taxing on those energy dollars. Looking to climb down to the single leg. Yeah, Looked like he tried, was trying to lock his hands together, hold his opponent in. The thing is, you got to commit to one or the other. He's kind of like hemming and hawing over which takedown he wants to do. And maybe Craig's a big. Big, strong guy, wrestles well. But I can understand why you would want to make that investment. Totally. But, yeah, if, but you can get him down. But, yeah. but if you don't, you're seriously taxed. And, and if it, it can be emotionally damaging as well. If I go for this takedown and I don't get it, or I take them down and they get up, and I work so mm -hmm. hard, mm -hmm. and now I don't, I don't have any energy left, and I failed at a takedown. I showed my cards too early. Jonathan, I mean, this is a good strategy for him. Yeah. Is he gaining fans this way? Maybe not. But right now, he's he's winning these positions. Oh, yeah, he's doing a good job. He's in a good position. So Jake with the nice double underhooks now. As, as Jonathan went for that, that double leg, he airplaned his arms out. And now these knees, the body are just ruthless and vicious. That's the big thing where Jonathan was really holding his opponent was with that, those that underhook, which he got back to. He seems this he seems to be his bread and butter, so he needs to stay on there. Remember we talked about pop move. Craig seems content to fight with his back up against the cage, slamming some short shots into the head of Jonathan. Now that knee back to the midsection. He's got a good little short knee there. He's hit it a couple times, and it looked like they make good impact. The only thing is he's got to be careful. The old Patrick Cote, the guy goes for the knee and a guy cat and he catches it. A little gamemanship there from him. So looking for those that over under position. Beautiful oh. takedown from Jake Craig right into, into the mount. mount. Aye, aye, aye. And he needs to go. There's ten right seconds. Now, ten seconds. Zip your opponent, yeah. as they say. So they're. Trying to recover from this on the stool. Yeah, and, and it sends a big message home to the uh, to the to the judges too. It's really like it. So now we head into yeah. round four. You know, and that's got to be a confidence builder. I know if I get the takedown, you're in big trouble. And and Jonathan spent that whole time just like waiting for that takedown, trying to get it, and to have it reversed here from that over-under position, little body trip there, stepping right into mount, bypassing that guard at all, and just transitioning to mount. Great binding those legs with the right leg, and just going to town. 
I mean, you need to threaten your opponent right away with that if he go looks to tie up with, with if Jake's opponent tries to look to bring him into the cage and do that again. He needs to like just threaten it. You don't even have to do it. Now there's a little seed implanted in Jonathan's head that this is a possibility that you can get stuck here and pay for it. We saw Tanner Poser trying to administer some vital information to Jake Craig going into round four. And Jonathan's coach, Josh Kitchen, you know, another pioneer in Canadian MMA, black belt too, I believe, looking to really like hammer it home to his to his pupil. You got to sit down on your punches and let it yeah. go. And he's and pointing over, saying, "Look, he is exhausted. Jake Craig is dying there. Take advantage of this. You're in shape." Yeah. Now at the same time. Jake's look the same way coming out. Like yep. it looks like he's tired and then <laughs> look tired running to the cage. But at the same time, he looks like he's gonna just look to do the same thing. You know, and that's a battle of will sometimes too, right? Touching gloves. Looking for that splitting right hand, just like his coach is telling him. Craig is certainly able to draw out a reaction. Jonathan stuffing the takedown. Oh, a big swiping hook. So and that's the thing. Oh, big right hand. Oh. Knee to the body. And that's the thing is you can't you can't block in MMA the same way they like to do it in Muay Thai and stuff. And they like that big shot could have done even more damage. Waiting for throwing those big punches, locking those double underhooks. But he needs to be have his head in the right position. These two behemoths right in front of us. I'm going to use my paper to protect <laughs> me from blood, unlike last time. At least it didn't land in our tacos. Yeah, that's the big thing. That's the important thing is you got to protect the food at all costs. Then my suit. Then, then the neck. Then the neck. Then Ryan Roth Rother. So looking for that high single, but his head's kind of like in here. So he needs to kind of like turn the corner, look for that double, kind of step across to his right side and uh, not follow that. So he's got to elevate that leg, basically going for a Zeger basically position in here to elevate and step over the side of his opponent. Really needs to focus on elevating that leg and going up to the back, but Jonas is doing a good job overhooking and well, now he's getting kind of caught in a position. That's the thing. Folding is him over here. But he does have the potential for that headlock kind of baloney kind of move. These are big shots. Jake Craig's a big guy. Just trying to weigh on his opponent. Is Craig trying to make it rough and yeah. uncomfortable? Now Jonathan giving up his neck. Well, he's giving up the jaw, not the neck. Yeah. And, and then Jake looking to really like crunch on, on it. it. He does not care. He's not in the friend making business. Those are big shots, maybe one to the back of the head, but you know, and then that's the thing. Give me either give me your neck or let me punch the heck out of you. And he's got that looks like he might have that rear naked choke stuck. But once again, as we saw in that... Jonathan forced to tap out. Luke Boutin waving it off. Great job by both fighters. A lot of heart shown by both guys. And I'm sure this will be a moment that Jake Craig will remember forever, considering what he kind of had to go through to earn this championship trophy. You know, a lot of good things that happened. But both fighters showed a lot of... A lot of good stuff. You know, I, I like seeing this. Josh Kitchen coming in, hugging his fighter, still smiling, like, hey. You know, it happens. There's 50% chance you're gonna lose in the, when you fight. Unfortunately, that's part of the game, but Jake yes. Craig doing a good job. Landing some big shots, coming in after him, and, you know, opening up that neck. And uh, yeah, Jake Craig uh, obviously utilized a lot of uh, energy something he's not used to. You know, a lot of good stuff there. Jake Craig, you know, gained that back, not being successful with the first neck crank. I'm not even gonna call it a choke, because it wasn't. Yeah. And then the second time, opened him up with some punches, took the back and finished with the rear naked choke. Looked really good, and we once he had that neck, he bit on it, and it was a great job. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Luke Boutin.
Fenton stops his belt at two minutes and 17 seconds. Around number four after Terrell Jonathan taps out due to rear naked choke. The winner of this match is Jake Craig.